Okay. Whew. Happy Sunday, guys. Uh, hi, guys. I'm Jordan Swindle, and welcome to my channel. I haven't done this in so long. It is September 12th, 2021, which is insane. I can't believe we're already in September, but I'm here for it. It's been a great summer. It's been a crazy year. I am grateful for it all. So I'm actually gonna be moving in two weeks, which is so exciting. I'll be entering my third year in California. And before I move, I just wanted to capture this space and do what I did last time and show a little tour. Just for the memories, this definitely has not been my favorite apartment. It has definitely been a journey but I still want to capture it because I'm for how far I've come and just, yeah, making this little space my home. And it's been through a lot with me. It's seen a lot of tears and a lot of laughs, but I definitely want to <laughs> capture it. So I had a super productive Saturday yesterday. I just went through a whole bunch of things it is 12 o'clock right now. I woke up early this morning, got in the shower, and then me and my uncle Tony went to the farmer's market down in Long Beach. It was so good. I loved it. I got really good bread, some raspberries and berries. I went shopping yesterday, so I didn't get a whole bunch, but I definitely got some good things that I'll probably show you throughout this video. I haven't done this in such a long time, like talked to a camera. I also just don't take a lot of photos of myself, so I just feel weird, <laughs> but we're gonna get through it. It's gonna be fine. Let's get into my apartment tour. <laughs> it is in downtown Long Beach. I really love this block I'm at. There's coffee shops, record stores, really good restaurants, walkable. Parking isn't that bad, which is surprising for Long Beach if you are on that meter life. There is a food bank right on the same block, so that entails a lot of things too, but depending on how you look at it, you know, you make the most of it. This is a tiny little apartment building. There's not a lot of people. Everyone's pretty young, which is nice. I definitely would not have picked this place if I was in the right mindset when I was trying to find a place to live. I was living in a hotel and just really going through life and emotions and a hard season, which I feel like I'm still going through, but I just needed a place to live and this was it. So it might not have been ideal, but it was ideal in the moment. Um, some things that caught my eye was the floor. I liked how it was updated. The kitchen was somewhat updated and it was simple and I really don't need a lot of space especially from where I was at. I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of things. So it was perfect for all those reasons. And I'm so grateful to have found it. And I actually live on the same block as one of my really, really, really good friends down here, which I hadn't figured out until a month after living here. So a lot of good reasons that make me feel like this is where I was meant to be in this time of my life. And I totally believe that and I'm so grateful for it even though it was hard as fuck and that's just life too especially i feel like every season <laughs> is hard and it comes with growing pains but especially your early 20s i feel like literally every stage is like that i could say that about any year but for right now that's what i'm going through which is so exciting and there's so many amazing happy moments and memories being made but it also comes with a lot of learning and growth and experiences hard and easy so anyways before I get too deep into all that I'm just gonna show you little parts of my apartment and then just different angles because it is really small maybe 300 to 400 square feet <laughs> but for a little bit for some days or some weeks or some months I'll be working from home so I definitely wanted a space for a living room a bedroom and a desk little office area out of this tiny room and I made it happen and I thought I'd share. So here we are Sunday. It's already been such a good day. Like I'm feeling good. I'm going to have to start packing everything up. So this is now or never. I really hope this video gets uploaded because I always do this. I always film and then it goes nowhere. 
Also, I'm drinking this really good um, lavender oat milk latte from the coffee space right around the corner that me and my Uncle Tony went to, which was so fun. Yeah, I guess we should just show you the space. Let's get into it. Okay, so you walk in and this is what you see. The bathroom is right here and if you can see I have this little vanity area it's super tiny in there so I'm not even gonna show it but I usually bring in my chair from the kitchen the bar chair hello and I will put it right here and then I'll watch my TV in the morning if you know me I love morning routines I love my mornings so sitting and having a space to do my makeup really it's just, it's necessary. <laughs> and then when you look to the left, this is what you see. I'm standing in the doorway of my bathroom. So I have two closets. They're super small, but again, utilize the space. I put like a little dresser thin right in there. So it holds all my pants and stuff. And then laundry basket in both actually. Some extra shoes. This is what you see from this side. I think it's a perfect place to put your keys, sunglasses, my wallet's in there, mask, just anything that you come in right away and need to drop it off. And then behind my door, I have all my bags. <laughs> I have so many bags, so many tote bags, so many purses. They all just hide right there. Shoes, super simple. All my hats, belts, bags. And then this is my living room. This is gonna be super short because it's a small area. Here is my TV, my endo board, my balancing board, couch, love chair seat. I love this thing, it's emerald green. I'm pretty short, so it's the perfect size for me just to lounge by myself here. I love, I love this chair. I think it's the perfect green and it just brings the whole space together. And also carpet, carpets, definitely help break up the room in the area so I love that okay that is my living room and then directly across from there is my office <laughs> so I have my mirror here cowboy boots extra rare shoes little garbage can a filing cabinet down below I am in love with this desk I think it's been very beneficial to have when working from home because when I do work from home, I can pull my keyboard out, I can put my laptop on, and it just is perfect, exactly what I need. Then I have my personal laptop underneath that I can hide away, which is nice. And then my work bag usually goes there with my work laptop and all that. And then I got this extremely cute orange carpet at the Melrose Flea Market, but I love that orange with the green. I think it balances well and just divides up the room. And then I got this chair, super comfortable. And I got this from Urban Outfitters. I have another one of the command strips, filing cabinet with all important paperwork, my AC unit that really is not good. All my books, plus some books up there. I just repotted this baby yesterday. So let's hope she does better there basket full of masks that are always clean and then my bedroom <laughs> super simple quality bed though I do enjoy and then I did put these white linen curtains on too just to make it more privacy the bad thing about this place it's there's no privacy like my neighbors are right there which kind of sucks because I don't really get to utilize the Sun and living in California you know you can't have it all I really like it, it makes it more homey and yeah not as just a box. Kettlebell, little book situation, and a fan that does not work. Here is it from this side. So I have my office, and my living room, and my bedroom. And then going in here, what I really liked about this place is that it divides up the kitchen and the bedroom. Here is the kitchen. That is the stool I bring it out every morning and I put over there. Here's my tattoo. That's been 
super special first thing I put up and here's my kitchen it's pretty small that's why I added this mirror I think it definitely opens up the space I have my coffee cart here with my toaster I went to the farmer's market today and got raspberries and strawberries and that bread it's like this olive sourdough mm, so good I just cleaned out those jars so I'm gonna be using those for like overnight oats um, and then over here more glasses water bottles I got this at Ikea I think it was super beneficial because if not it would just be an open space right there and I needed that extra counter space so thankfully they have that it's not really cute but whatever and then I have my microwave I love this microwave my auntie Melissa got it for me it is super cute very vintage this is my dirty laundry and then up here is my clean towels just trying to use less paper towels same drying rack as my other apartment i love this because it takes up less space i have a little game basket up there some cookbooks this is my farmer's market bag Ooh, my bad oh i got this tea at the farmer's market today and they really sold me also sorry my nails look horrible i'm going back to paint them so i'm just waiting for the gel to come off fights insomnia and lowers cholesterol levels um, I want to try it, the insomnia. I think lately I've been having trouble falling asleep, so I think that'll help. And I love these little jars, like, come on, you can reuse them. And then this one is for um, just stress, anxiety, fatigue, so I'm going to bring that to work just to have. The tea I got, fruit I got, bread I got, the farmer's markets. Um, and that's my kitchen. Oh, this is what's on top of my, the glass I'm using. For my coffee is that one <sighs> all right i am so hot this was so short i mean it didn't take that long to film there's not not a lot but i hope you enjoyed this video i'm excited to see what this next apartment will bring in this next year and exciting time i think in life I'm happy and grateful. Thank you. And I hope you are enjoying your Sunday as well or whatever day you're watching. I hope you have a great day and night. I will see you later. Bye guys.